Hello everyone. Uh, today, uh, in this video, we will be discussing on the one of the topic of uh, VLS design, which is a course under uh, Department of EC for the final year students uh, in Kitswaranga. So, I will be discussing on a very short topic uh, that is uh, CMOS fabrication. How the CMOS fabrication has been uh, done. Already, we had uh, a video of uh, MOS fabrication extended to that one uh, how the CMOS fabrication would be done that would be uh, studied over there. So the first one objective of this lecture is to help students to gain knowledge of various CMOS fabrication techniques and uh, steps involved in construction of CMOS using P-Well process. We will be discussing on P-Well process. So here uh, first uh, I will be listing out uh, different uh, CMOS fabrication techniques available. CMOS fabrication can be achieved by the following uh, methods as listed below. One of the method is P-Well process, the other one is N-Well process, there is a uh, twin tip process and then uh, the fourth one is Berkeley's N-Well process. All these processes are uh, used for uh, CMOS fabrication. Uh, I will be, uh, in this video I will be discussing on uh, P-Well process one of the process so when you go for the people process these are the fabrication and steps the, the total detailed diagrams have been not uh, listed out over here only the important steps of uh, fabrication uh, has been listed out and uh, the first diagram is about uh, creating a p-well that is shown over here after the p-well has been formed it is shown in the first diagram and in the second diagram uh, where the p-mos and n-mos has to be created uh, it is shown in this one with a polysilicon and uh, oxide has been put up to get, form the gate regions for PMOS and NMOS. And in the third diagram, you will be forming the PMOS, and in the fourth diagram, NMOS will be formed. So, overall, here PMOS as well as NMOS will be getting you, uh, will be getting you the total uh, NMOS. Uh, CMOS side. So these are the steps of uh, fabrication of CMOS P well process. The first step is uh, taking an N type substrate. Uh, taking an N type substrate uh, and uh, onto that substrate, uh, define the area where you are going to form the well. This is the area which you want to uh, go for the well. Put a thick oxide and uh, each away the area where uh, the or uh, well has to be created and keep the oxide with the coated resist material on the remaining area of the well. Then define put up a thin oxide. Get the areas of where uh, you want to uh, grow up your uh, transistor. Put the coated resist material and oxide and uh, each away the area where you are going to uh, grow the transistor. Then put up a thin oxide over there. Once you are going for the thin oxide, uh, uh, put the pad. Uh, polysilicon and pattern of the polysilicon. Third step is putting up a thin oxide which is a 1 micrometer thick. Thin oxide is for uh, getting the gate region. Above to the thin oxide you put up a uh, polysilicon then uh, pattern the polysilicon. Then the fourth step, uh, fifth step is uh, getting up the P type diffusion using of uh, P plus mass. There are two masks. Uh, one is a P plus mask. I will be using the same mask is used as a negative form to get the N type division. So once you are getting a uh, P plus mask and uh, defining the P diffusions, then uh, we will be going for the N type mask uh, using of a uh, negative of P plus mask N type diffusion. So you got these two divisions. Then the seventh step is uh, define the contact cuts for your gate. And all this one then uh, once you have defined the contact cuts uh, areas of that one put up the metal aluminum metal and uh, pattern the aluminum metal to get the contact cuts and the uh, ninth step is is an optional if you want an over glassing you can go ahead with the over glassing over there so these are the quickly I have uh, discussed on all this one so once again I will be going ahead with this one fabrication step is first is a uh, n-type substrate then uh, define the p-well 
above to that we will uh, define the thinox regions then after that one pattern the polish silicon to get the irrigate regions then uh, using of uh, chemical vapor de uh, deposition uh, you go for the diffusing the p diffusions then uh, using of the p plus mask then uh, negative of the p plus mask you go for the n diffusion then define the contactors pattern the metal uh, for getting the contactors then overclassing if you find so this is a uh, the total uh, inverter connection of a uh, CMOS inverter connection where uh, we can see uh, V out is uh, is connected between source and drain and uh, V in is being connected between the two terminals and VTT and VSS as you know it is uh, one of the terminal is connected to the VTT the other terminal is connected to VSS so this is the inverter connection of this one and um, this is about the uh, annual process how the annual process would be there uh, it would be the same thing like your uh, previous one okay thank you if you are having any doubts you can uh, contact me on to your my email address and you can uh, clarify your doubts and uh, or else you can call it uh, on my mobile phone also thank you and uh, keep watching your uh, the remaining uh, part of your uh, first unit videos on to your course the website the links will be shared thank you everyone